far-right presidential candidate, Jair Bolsonaro, won a shocking 46% of the vote in the first round of Brazil's elections on October 7th, setting up a runoff with second-place finisher Fernando Haddad of the Workers' Party, which will take place this Sunday. Like Donald Trump, Bolsonaro is a racist, homophobic and anti-democratic provocateur whose victory will embolden the most treacherous elements of Brazilian society. A former captain in the military reserves, Bolsonaro has repeatedly praised the ruthless military dictatorship that ruled Brazil for two decades. In 2011, he claimed that he could not love a gay son and he constantly disparages same-sex marriage, abortion and immigrants. Bolsonaro's Social Liberal Party has begun amassing supporters in the military and police, as well as in far-right militias. These groups are widely believed to be involved in the assassination of Rio de Janeiro City Councillor Mariel Franco of the Party for Socialism and Freedom in March 2018. Bolsonaro's path to power was paved by a coordinated right-wing offensive, which culminated with the imprisonment of former President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva on trumped-up charges. Despite bureaucratization and corruption in the Workers' Party, Lula consistently ranked high, if not first, in the opinion polls, and may well have defeated Bolsonaro handily. Lula pledged to run for president even after he was sentenced to 12 years in prison, but the Supreme Court barred him from the race just weeks before. Meanwhile, to the left of the Workers' Party, several candidates polled a combined 2%, including the Party for Socialism and Freedom initiative. In a statement, the party said, Bolsonaro in power means that the fundamental rights of working-class people both social and labour rights, such as retirement and the traditional year-end bonuses, will be guillotined. Bolsonaro in power means escalating threats to the lives of women, black people, LGBT people, indigenous people and immigrants, and an unprecedented acceleration of extermination campaigns against black and poor populations of our country. Bolsonaro in power means an imminent danger for already meagre democratic guarantees particularly for left-wing political organisations, unions and social movements. The radical left have significant differences with Lula's party, opposing Lula's strategy of conciliating to the rich, the powerful and the corrupt. The radical left is calling for a vote for Haddad on October 28th to defeat Bolsonaro as part of a militant campaign on the streets, not only to stop the neo-fascist far-right's victory, but also to build struggles that cannot be postponed.